Good morning, everyone. So coming to today's seminar, that is provisional restorations in fixed partial denture. So these are the contents. Coming to introduction, it is important that the prepared tooth or teeth be protected and that the patient be kept comfortable while a cast restoration is fabricated. So through successful management of this phase of the treatment, the dentist can gain the patient confidence and favorably influence the ultimate success of the definitive restoration. Now, during the time between the preparation of the tooth and the placement of the definitive restoration, the tooth is protected by a provisional restoration. Coming to the definition of the interim restoration, according to GPT-9, it is a fixed or a removable dental prosthesis, which is designed to enhance aesthetics, stabilize a function, a stabilization function for the limited period of time, after which it is to be replaced by a definitive dental prosthesis. Coming to the rationale for the provisional res restoration, to, uh, it, should, uh, it is given to protect the pulp, to evaluate the parallelism of the apartment, to immediately replace the missing teeth, to prevent the migration of the apartment and to improve the aesthetics. Coming to ideal requirements of the provisional restorative material. Now, according to Rosenstein, the requirements are classified as biologic, mechanical and aesthetics. So the biologic requirement are pulp protection. So an interim restoration must be must seal and insulate the prepared tooth surface from the oral environment to prevent the pulp sensitivity and irritation. Then coming to periodontal health. So an interim restoration should have a good marginal fit, proper contour and smooth surface finish. Now in this image, we can see a properly contoured margin, whereas here we can see that the, um, uh, there is over contouring and irregular margins, which lead to uh, plaque accumulation and un unhealthy periodontia. Coming to occlusal compatibility and tooth position. So, uh, uh, it should maintain proper contact with adjacent and opposing teeth. So inadequate contact will uh, allow for supra eruption or a horizontal movement. Then uh, the uh, restoration should be fabricated in such a way that it prevents the tooth fracture. Coming to mechanical requirements. So basically uh, the greatest stresses in an interim fixed restoration are likely to occur during chewing. So uh, to reduce the risk of failure, the connector size must be uh, increased in the interim restoration. Now to maintain the periodontal health, uh, the, it should not be over contoured near the gingiva. And uh, it, it should also resist the removable forces because the interim restoration often needs to be reused. Coming to aesthetic requirements, so the appearance of a provisional restoration is particularly important for anteriors and uh, in premolar region. So uh, the important properties like contour, color, translucency and texture are an essential attributes to this. Coming to material and procedures. So uh, uh, provisional, provisional materials can be divided into two groups based on their chemical composition that is monomethacrylates and dimethacrylates. Now monomethacrylates are acrylic resins and dimethacrylates are the composite resin. So the currently available materials are polymethyl methacrylate, polyethyl methacrylates, microfill composite and light polymerized composite. Now, polymethyl methacrylates were the first appeared around 1930s and they remain, they remain the most frequently used material for interim restoration. So, because they have a good strength, a good surface hardness, durability and polishability. The major drawback of this material is the high exothermic heat production, uh, high volumetric shrinkage, uh, residual monomer production and the uh, marginal fit. The commercially available uh, polymethyl methacrylate material uh, are alike from GC America and a temporary bridge resin by Densprang. Then coming to polyethyl methacrylate, now this material was uh, basically introduced to overcome uh, the drawbacks produced by polymethyl methacrylate. They have good pol polishability, they have minimal exothermic heat production, they have good stain resistance and low shrinkage. But the major drawback is that they have poor surface hardness and fracture toughness. Uh, coming to composites, so basically composites are available as autopolymerized, dual polymerized or visible light polymerized. So the visible light cure or urethin uh, dimethacrylate was introduced around 1980s. It requires urethin dimethacrylate for polymerization when catalyzed with visible light energy. Now it has good strength, uh, good abrasion resistance and color stability. The disadvantage of this material is the limited shade selection, less stain resistance and the marginal fit. 
coming to bisacryl composites so uh, these are the most commonly composite reasons which are used uh, uh, they have good marginal fit uh, low uh, exothermic heat production good strength and low shrinkage the commercially available bisacryl composite reasons are protem 2 luxa flow luxa temp solar and bisjet so coming to the systematic review uh, where mechanical properties of provisional uh, materials was assessed so uh, dimeth uh, dimethyl acrylates or comp composite resins has a better mechanical behavior when the stress is applied because they are rigid and they have cross like structure due to the presence of highly viscous and multifunctional monomers now uh, which can cross link with the polymeric chain now this cross linking uh, basically make the, makes these material strong and easy to handle and they result in a low exothermic temperature whereas in monomethyl acrylate they are composed of monofunctional molecules with a linear structure and a low molecular weight this lacks cross linking leading to lower rigidity and mechanical resistance now autopolymerizing composite resin exhibit greater flexural strength and hardness when it when compared to light cured due to the presence of uh, greater filler particles then polymethyl methacrylate presented greater flexural strength when it was compared to polyethyl methacrylate now pmma and pema tend to absorb water so due to its linear polymer network uh, structure which decreases the flexural strength and the surface hardness so uh, composite resins have a rigid central structure and they uh, that allow them to absorb absorb only 0.8% by weight of water now coming to uh, the techniques so uh, there, there is a tissue surface form and external surface form so tissue surface form uh, simulates the prepared tooth structure and surrounding structure it is divided into uh, three categories that is direct te technique indirect technique and indirect direct technique then we have external surface form that forms the external contour of the restoration so it has uh, custom made and prefabricated coming to direct technique so basically direct technique involves the use of mold or matrix matrices now these matrices can be made by different materials like polyvinyl siloxane putty or vacuum form materials so basically the matrix is can be prepared on uh, diagnostic cast or intraorally so uh, the, after the matrix is prepared the tooth preparation is done once the tooth preparation is done the matrix is fitted or tried in the uh, patient after that the material the provisional restoration material is mixed and uh, the matrix is seated uh, on the on the prepared tooth surface uh so uh, the, uh, while the polymerization is taking place on off technique and water cooling can be used to reduce the heat uh, once the polymerization is completed uh, the trimming uh, finishing and polishing of the uh, processes is done and then final cementation is done so the advantage of direct technique is that there are intermediate steps are eliminated it is convenient when assistant or laboratory support is inadequate but the major disadvantage of this technique is it produces potential tissue trauma because of the uh, heat production and it has a poor marginal fit because of the uh, uh, shrinkage coming to intrapalpal thermal changes uh, uh, during direct provisionalization using various autopolymerizing resins so in this study polymethyl methacrylate showed the highest temperature rise value followed by polyethyl methacrylate and then bisacrylate composites now the maximum temperature rise was found on molar full pnia preparation followed by molar three quarter preparation and premolar preparation so indirect technique now indirect technique uh, basically in this uh, impression is made and a diagnostic cast is poured after that wax up can be done or teeth can be arranged and a matrix uh, with a uh, vacuum form material or putty index can be uh, made uh, after that tooth preparation is done and then uh, another cast is poured uh, then the matrix is uh, fitted on the cast and uh, then the uh, cast is lubricated with the separating media and the material is mixed and the uh, matrix is placed uh, uh, on the cast so once the polymerization takes place and the uh, material is set it is removed from the matrix it is uh, polished and finished and then it is uh, cemented in the uh, patient's mouth 
coming to the uh, advantages of the indirect technique so basically uh, there is no contact of free monomer with tooth or gingiva it avoids the subjecting of heat or polymerizing reason there is a better marginal fit and it gives patient a chance to uh, rest there is a disadvantage of this technique is the increased chair side time and increased number of intermediate steps coming to indirect direct technique so the, this is a combination of the two technique it provides a traumatic means to achieve most accurate fitting processes now in this uh, the impression is made and the diagnostic cast is uh, poured it can be then uh, uh, mounted up to that uh, the wax up uh, is done and an uh, patti index uh, or a mat matrix is formed after that a check cast can be poured uh, on which tooth preparation is done and then the uh, matrix is filled with the resin and and it is uh, placed on the uh, prepared cast then it is stabilized with the elastic so after it is set uh, this is a process so uh, in the clinical appointment tooth preparation is done and then uh, the uh, in, uh, interim restoration trim is done to value the proximal contact contour surface defect marginal fit and the occlusion uh, then the relining of the sorry then the relining of the uh, uh, interim restoration can be done uh, in the patient uh, so this is finishing polishing and the final cementation with the temporary cement so the uh, advantage of this technique is that the chair side, uh, chair side time is reduced there is lesser heat generation due to less volume of resin and reduced risk of allergic reaction the disadvantage is the adjust adjustments are frequently needed coming to pre formed temporary restoration so pre formed crowns are available commercially they require relining with an acrylic material and modification for fit so they are limited to single restorations now the pre formed uh, crowns are uh, basically divided into resin and metal so the resin has polycarbonate cellulose acetate there is metal as aluminum tin silver and nickel chromium coming to polycarbonate crowns so they are the most natural appearance of all the preform material they when they are properly selected and modified their appearance reveal a well executed restoration with very color stable resin now they are supplied in incisor canine and premolar types so uh, coming to the procedure so in this we measure the mesio distal width of the crown uh, with the dip, with the help of a divider uh, then we select the sh uh, shell that is either of the same size or slightly larger in the size then uh, we make uh, we mark the crown height from the incisal edge and then and we use this measurement as a guide for trimming the shell the incisal edge uh, should be uh, similar to the adjacent teeth and the accordingly trimming is done Uh, after that uh, the relining of the polycarbonate crown is uh, done with the provisional resin material and then uh, once the relining is finished uh, uh, temporary cementation is done coming to cellulose acetate crown so these crowns are basically of made of transparent material they are thin of around 0.2 to 0.3 mm they are available for all two types and range of sizes uh, now the shade depends upon the resin uh, which is used for the uh, provisional restoration and the resin does not bond with the shell so uh, the uh, shell is basically peeled off after the polymerization of the resin is done now during peeling this uh, shell off there can be a uh, deficient uh, proximal contact so we have to re establish by add addition of the resin coming to nickel chromium crowns so now uh, in uh, these crowns basically do not need to be relined uh, they are uh, trimmed adapted and contoured with pliers and they are luted with cements the uh, nickel chromium alloys are very hard and therefore they are used for longer term uh, long term provisional restorations so uh, in this the mesio distal and the occluso uh, cervical height is measured then the uh, shells are basically trimmed with the crown and collar scissors after that the sharp edges are polished with the greenstone burr and then crimping and the uh, contouring pliers are used to uh, contour the uh, crown once the crown is uh, adapted or fitted properly the cementation can be done the excessive cement has to be removed coming to the cementation of the provisional restoration so a uh, primary function of an interim luting agent is to provide a seal prevent marginal leakage and pulp protection 
Now the ideal uh, properties of an uh, 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 temporary luting cement uh, should be the ability to seal against the leakage of oral fluid, uh, low solubility, strength should be consistent with the intentional of, intention of removal, the chemical compatibility should be there with the provisional polymer, compatibility should be there with the definitive luting agent which will be used, there should, there should be convenience of dispensing and mixing, there should, there should be adequate working time and short setting time. So the different uh, temporary cements can be calcium hydroxide, uh, eugenol cements and non-eugenol cements. Now uh, zinc oxide eugenol appears to be the most satisfactory. Zinc oxide eugenol provides easy removable, has an obtained effect on the pulp and acceptable sealing properties. However, free eugenol acts as a plasticizer for the methacrylate resins and it re reduces its surface hardness and strength. So to overcome these effects, luting cements without the eugenols were marketed. So uh, the, the zinc oxide without eugenol, the commonly used uh, brands are Friginol and the Temp Bond. Now they were manufactured by GC Corp and Care Manufacturing. Uh, so they, uh, they are supplied in a base space, a base space and an accelerator based. So coming to the procedure of cementation, so the, to facilitate the removal of excess cement, uh, we have to lubricate the external surface of, of the restoration. Uh, then we mix the paste together rapidly and apply the small quantity just uh, occlusal to the caver surface margin. Then the marginal bead of the cement forms the required seal against the oral, uh, oral fluids. After that, now the filling of the crown and the uh, excessive filling of the crown should uh, be avoided. Uh, then uh, we have to seal, uh, seal the restoration and allow the cement to set. Once the cement is set, we have to carefully remove the excess material with an explorer. Now, if there are cement remnants which are left in the sulcus, it will irritate the gingiva, it may cause a periodontal inflammation and may lead to bone loss. Coming to advancement in temporization, so CAD-CAM acrylic temporaries. Now CAD-CAM allows the milling of three-dimensional design object from bulk material and technique is reported to provide high precision. Now CAD-CAM interim restorations are made from uh, pre-processed acrylic resin blocks and are reported to possess better color stability and precision. So TLO CADs are cross-linked polymethyl methacrylate blocks for the efficient fabrication of long-term temporaries. Now, uh, as a result of optimized manufacturing process, they have smooth surface that can quickly be polished. They are indicated in temporary crowns, temporary bridges, uh, implant supported temporaries. The benefit of this material is it has high material homogeneity, shade stability and excellent polishability. So coming to an article in which uh, basically the physical and the mechanical properties were assessed between the CAD-CAM polymethyl methacrylate uh, interim restoration with the conventional polymethyl methacrylates and bisacryl resins. Now this study said that CAD-CAM fabricated interim restorations may present stable long-term clinical outcomes when compared with uh, conventional materials. Coming to tough temp plus, so basically it is an impact resistant rubberized resin. It uh, does not show any polymerization shrinkage. It displays a, a high flexural strength. So this is the procedure. Uh, so the matrix is filled with the tough temp plus material and then it is seated in the mouth. The, uh, after two, minute, it is, uh, two minutes, it is removed. The matrix is removed and then the uh, margin integrity is assessed. Uh, then uh, the provisional is trimmed and uh, polished. Uh, after that, uh, it is cemented. Now, uh, when after four weeks, this uh, temporaries were removed, uh, the tissue was in excellent condition. Coming to uh, Revotech uh, LC, it is a sculptable, uh, sculptable composite resin. So it is a new light plus single component. It is a sculptable composite which can be which can be used for uh, inlay only crown, venous and bridges. Now it contains a, a putty stick of uh, Revotech LC and then uh, a, a light proof storage case and a GC plastic spatula. Now it combines the advantage of uh, the composite based temporization material with the advantage of prefabricated crowns. Uh, it is preformed moldable composite based crowns that can offer custom fit and adaptation in less than four minutes. So the material is removed from the uh, removed and then adapted to the prepared tooth surface. After then it is contoured accordingly and then uh, light curing is done. Uh, then uh, the uh, once the material uh, is completely set, it is trimmed and polished and then cemented with the temporary cement. 
So th coming to 3M ESP Pro Temp, it, uh, crown temporization material, they are also uh, free from uh, crowns which are available in variety of uh, size and shade. Now the excess um, material uh, is trimmed off. After that, it is adapted uh, to establish the interproximal contacts in the buccal margin. Uh, then uh, the, uh, to adjust the occlusion and the lingual margins are ad adapted. Then tack, tack cure for two to three minutes is done and then uh, uh, cure for 60 seconds is done. After that, it is removed and polished uh, and then cemented with a temporary cement. Coming to provisional restorations uh, in implant, so uh, provisional restorations can be used as a diagnostic restoration to evaluate the position and contours of the plant definitive restoration prior to surgical implant placement and during the healing phase. Now the different types of uh, restorations uh, are for removable, we have SX appliance, partial acrylic tensures, fixed tooth supported, we have arch wire supported pontic, raisin bonded pontic and fixed implant supported, we have transitional implants. Coming to partial acrylic denture, so it is commonly used, it is simple to construct and relatively inexpensive. However, uh, the uh, partial acrylic denture can place undesirable pressure upon the uh, tissue sites, hampering the healing process. So we have to uh, be very careful and prevent the gingival portion uh, from contacting the uh, healing soft tissue uh, it, because it will produce uncontrolled implant loading leading to implant exposure, marginal bone loss and failed integration. So often provisional dentures uh, are adjusted to minimize the contact with the healing implants. Then coming to SX appliance, so an SX appliance can be used as an alternative to uh, a partial acrylic denture in cases with limited interocclusal spaces or deep anterior overbite. Now this process is, is made from an acrylic tooth bonded to a clear vacuum form material on a cast. Now it provides protection to the underlying soft tissue and implant during the healing phase. The limitation of this uh, pro, uh, appliance is basically uh, the inability to mold the peri-implant soft tissue. They derive the support from covering the adjacent teeth in the arch which makes chewing difficult and lack of patient's compliance can cause rapid occlusal wear through the vacuiform material. Then uh, tooth supported provisional restoration in, um, anterior, uh, in upper anterior region can use orthodontic bracket uh, and arch wire on several teeth adjacent to implant sites with an attached pontic. Uh, then an alternative method uh, is the use of raisin bonded provisional pontic. Coming to transitional. Sorry, coming to transitional uh, implant provisional restoration in extended partial dentulous area where there are no uh, abut natural abutments or there are limited natural abutments to support, provisional restoration, uh, uh, one or more transitional implants may be placed. So transitional implants can be placed uh, in the potential implant sites or the, uh, before the rejuvenation procedure or they can be placed uh, adjacent to the implant sites. Now these transition implants are loaded immediately to support the provisional restoration. So coming to a, a case report uh, which was done in the department. So this article basically describes the technique for placing the modified ovate pontic immediately after soft tissue contouring and to imitate the natural emergence profi profile for aesthetic and function. So 40 year old male patient reported with a missing anterior teeth with a Siebert's class 3 defect. Now transgingival probing was done to measure the thickness of soft tissue. So 5 mm of a soft tissue height was available. Now preoperative diagnostic, so diagnostic impressions were made and diagnostic cast was poured. After that diagnostic uh, wax mock-up of temporary, temporary was uh, done and then provisional bridge was fabricated uh, with the self-cure acrylic raisin by an indirect technique. Now in the surgical phase, soft tissue modification was done. So a crestal and a bilateral incis uh, incision, a crestal and a bilateral incisions were made and a conventional gingivoplasty was done to achieve the desirable scalloping of gingival tissue. After which the sutures were placed uh, for to support the architecture. Once the uh, homeostasis and clot formation was achieved, the modified ovate pontic was adjusted into the site and the cementation was done with the eugenol free cement. Now the uh, recall was scheduled after one week, three week and one month. So at each appointment, temporary restoration was removed, cleaned and irrigated with petardine. After three months, when the tissue was completely uh, healthy and aesthetic, uh, the definitive restoration uh, was uh, made with all ceramic uh, rest, uh, material. 
So coming to the conclusion of the seminar, although provision, provisional restoration is intended for short term use and then discarded, they can be made to provide pleasing aesthetics, adequate support and good, good protection for teeth while maintaining periodontal health. Now they can be fabricated in dental office from several commercially available material techniques. So the success of fixed prosthodontics often depends upon the care with which the provisionals are fabricated. These are my references. Thank you.